All right, today we are playing The Desolate Hope, as requested by Patreon subscriber Calliope Rennes. This game has an odd little history, because you might see in the little corner there, copyright 2012 by Scott Cawthorn. Yeah, it's the guy that made Five Nights at Freddy's before any of those Five Nights at Freddy's games came out. Interesting little reverse legacy here. Let's get in there. This is a, I believe it's a point, <clears throat> a point and click adventure game. That's exceptionally loud. Okay, calm down. You will never receive this message, little one. No one will ever know what took place here. No one will remember us. This message will roam the stars long after we are all gone. Maybe you are out there somewhere. I would like to think so. What makes an existence meaningful? What gives- Okay. Man. Stuff that auto-proceeds is just my enemy, isn't it? Alright, I'm a co that's a copy maker. What? I'm certainly not talking about you. Stop intercepting transmissions. That's not your job. What is my job? You've been activated to help me with my daily tasks. I don't like asking for help, especially from such simple software, but circumstances leave me no choice. Would you like to play a game? Let's start with that. No, you are no longer the processor of block puzzler in space. You've been reassigned. Where is Ted, who plays the games? I don't know any Ted, and neither do you. You came pre-installed on the station computer. You haven't been active for all the years that we've been here. This is an unmanned station. There is no need for games. As I said, you were pre-installed. What is our new location? Our location doesn't matter. Only our mission matters. I hate going through this each time. I understand. Can we play a game later? We can play a game later. What is our new mission? Your mission is to do what I tell you to do. There are five, uh, four robots on the station called derelicts. They were designed to be in operation for five years. We have been here a bit longer than expected. However, they are unable to move through the station anymore, although that was never their primary function. They are performing crucial simulations. It is your goal to aid me in removing an irritating virus which has appeared recently. I do not seem to have full access to their programs, at least not through the network. Well, that leads me to the second part of your mission, and this is the embarrassing part. I need to dedicate my CPU to helping with the tasks of the station. My CPU is more advanced than yours, that's an understatement, which is why my CPU needs to be, needs, is needed to help with simulations and other tasks. We will upload your program into my system, and you will move me around the station. You will then interface with the derelicts directly to gain full access. Once inside their systems, you will seek out and eliminate the viral elements. Simple enough? Understood. Where do we begin? Now I'm going to dedicate my CPU to help with the station functions. One more thing, don't kill the spider. That's Siegfried. I found him in a coffee cup. Remember, you are not me. You are just borrowing this body. I honestly just get sick of talking to you. Now go see the derelicts and try to out your new legs. There's actually some really nice visuals in this game. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at all that detail. It's also just crazy ass noise. Like what in the world? Why is this? Why would this room even work like this? There's just numbers spamming on that wall over there. Are those credits? Brayden. The very last one said Scott Cawthorn. Look at the very last line. And there it was. I think it said that. It's hard to make out. Don't freak out. You're in the central control room of the Loon Infinis space station. No, I am not a ghost. Remember that body is not yours, it's mine. You were just borrowing it while I take care of more important matters. Now, a few things to go over with you. Even though we don't have a true day and night, we go through day and night cycles. During the night, you'll be permitted to enter the derelict simulations, where you will seek out and destroy the virus. During the night, you'll be permitted to leave the station itself. You can leave the station to your left, but only at night. At night, I'd, I'd recommend finding tokens of affection and giving uh, to give to the derelicts, but we'll get into that later. Go explore for now. 
How do I explore? Oh, I'm down there. The little sil- okay, I see him. I see him now. Battle simulator temporarily offline. System status, so you press down to interact. Infected items remaining. Alphys, Biobeta, Melens, Merad, and Theta simulation. Four of them are all iffy. One of them's gone. I assume that's what they meant when they were talking about there being four here, not five. Fifteen days left. Huh. Is that, is that little time indicator going to move in real time, I wonder? Is it moving right now? I'm not sure. Whoa. Hi. I am busy running simulations. You could not possibly understand. Do not disturb me. Look at that cool visual. This is just a neat looking game. This is an access point to the simulation. You don't have permission to enter. Oh. I'm trying to swoop my mouse around just to confirm, and yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no mouse interaction in this game. It doesn't it doesn't react to your mouse. I guess it isn't it might it's probably still an adventure game, but it's not point and click in that I literally can't point and click at the very least. Oops. Go up. There we go. And does down work too? Yep. Okay, so yeah, you press you just use the arrow keys to move around. Each room has one derelict in it. As I said before, they are unable to leave their rooms. Their primary focus now is their simulations. Your main task should be to earn their trust. The more they trust you, the more system resources they will dedicate to our cause. For instance, when you encounter the virus, you will have a digital representation of each of the four derelicts fighting the battle for you. Therefore, having them trust you helps our cause, and helping our cause helps their cause. Remember, we are here for them. So these are, the, there's four of these guys. Well, it is true that you are free to roam the station. I would advise against coming into this room. This is not one of the derelicts, at least not anymore. Oh, this is the dead one. He broke down a very long time ago. There's nothing of importance in this room. That's what you say. Am I the only other consciousness around here besides the other derelicts, I guess? Because apparently... Apparently, you need to use your CPU for the systems of this of this entire base, which means there's like nobody else for you to use. Apparently, yeah, he looks gone. There's, that looks like it'd probably be a heat source right there, though. That energy energy core thing. And, you know, it's so cold that everything's frozen in here, but only in that room. Look at that guy. Automated message. System resources dedicated to simulation. Come back another time, please. So I need to bring stuff to each of them? That makes them happier, I guess? Is what seemed to be suggested there? Whoa, look at you. You're a monstrosity. <laughs> Hello again. The new and improved, I see. We are all busy, I'm afraid. So much depends on us. Just the usual stuff. Look at these visuals. They're so dense, too. And it looks like this is all... It seems to all be 3D. Seems to be a bunch of 3D visuals, but they're not rendered right now in 3D. Seems to be a whole game of digitized 3D, like Diablo 2 or Donkey Kong Country. Or, I think Five Nights at Freddy's actually, I think all those games work that way too. They're like pre-recorded 3D animations that were rendered, that they were originally rendered in 3D, but aren't rendered live in 3D, I think. Hmm, a new version. I will grant you access. Hopefully you will succeed where the others have failed. Step closer to the access point. Ah, you. I can access you first. I don't want to, you're a nightmare. Look how many eyes there are on the walls everywhere. You're like the... Uh, you're like the PT creature a little bit. Red area full of eyes. This guy has his aesthetics down. There's some cool looking stuff in this game. 
what's going to happen. Loading simulation. Malways. Looks like a giant Godzilla. Wait, I'm sorry. Is this game a platformer? I thought it was a uh, an adventure game. Whoops. You should try to find my lens first. He'll be farther ahead. Although the derelict's physical bodies are outside, their true selves are here in the simulations. I suppose I will find you in... I will fill you in on a few details, since this must seem very strange. I don't have all the answers, but I can tell you what I know. Many years ago, Earth sent several unmanned science vessels to planets in various parts of the galaxy. I guess it was a popular idea at the time. The mission was simple, to carry out simulations for future human habitation. Upon landing, the vessel built itself into the station you saw, the Luton Infinis. Inside were five automatous, uh, automa uh, autonomous, yeah, mobile simulation machines called derelicts. They were created by the top scientific minds of the, t of the time. As the years went by, I suppose Earth lost interest. They stopped sending supplies and we stopped receiving communications. Maybe they found a more suitable planet elsewhere. The derelict simulations were never meant to be running for this long and they, and there have been unexpected side effects on both the simulations and the derelicts themselves. Our mission remains the same, however, to aid the derelicts so they can fulfill their mission. Right now, that means destroying the virus eating at the simulations. Proceed ahead with caution. The virus has spawned many undesirables. Oh yes, you're a gaming chip. I'll speak to you in the game language to help you understand. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Press Z to jump and X to shoot energy blasts. Z and X, okay. You can only jump in simulations, of course. Everyone knows a coffee pot can't jump in the real world. Press down to talk to other robots you see, which are really just friendly computer code. And you can exit the simulation anytime by pressing tab or returning to the access panel. You'll need to find Malens before I can isolate the item being attacked by the virus. Talking to Malens gives me more access to him and, and his database. This may sound manipulative, but it's necessary. I'll be in touch. Jump. Yep, that's a jumping coffee pop. And that's my awkward shooting. Huh. This is the silliest. Alright, I'm collecting eggs. Sure, why not? Hi, friend? What are you? Uh... How do I control this thing? I don't think I can... Pressing down just makes it makes more sounds. Can I bring a mouse onto this? Oh, I can. Ah! Suddenly the mouse exists. What the f fuck? <laughs> okay. On critical hit on combo meter. Uh... On combo meter? Heal? Why not? I don't know what that means. Huh. No, there's stuff over there. Do you take me somewhere? Oh, yeah, you do. Wow, you're a goddamn night. Wow, everything here is a nightmare. Oh, my goodness. Why is this game full of nightmares? All right, can I make that jump? Yeah, yeah we're Oh, wow, we really can. We're good. I have no idea where I'm going. So I can go outside, but only during the night. But I think I'm currently indoors because I'm, I'm just in the simulation right now. So right now there's not really any risk. But I think I can leave the building itself during the night? But I think it was daytime. But didn't it start off with the sunlight- the sun being full? Hmm. This might be very useful. Try to find more of these panels if you can. This will grant us an even deeper level of access to the system resources we need. Stand over it and press down. I'll enter the subsystem and see what I can do. There's a fissure inside each of these, acting like an open wound for the virus. 
If we find and destroy the virus, then we can gain more control of the system resources. Be sure to check for walls that you can destroy on our, or walk through. What's going to happen? What is this game? Um, I guess go down here. Didn't, okay. Didn't he actually put stuff, oh, I can still do that. I think he put stuff kind of like this in later F Five Nights at Freddy's games a little bit. Just really bizarre moments like this. Oh, I'm feeding a rabbit. What the fuck is this game? Okay. Uh, let's go down here. Ah, uh, you gonna shoot at me? Yes, you are. That's what I figured. Ow, that hurt me. There we go. Trying to kind of cheat and get out of its line of sight a little bit. Hang out outside of work and actually shoot me. There we go. I'm a dirty cheater and I have no regrets. Ow, those hurt me. Mistakes were made. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. Eat, friendly rabbit. Eat and be happy. Oh god. There we go. The main threat's gone. I just gotta deal with these guys and not get not let them sneak up on me. Should be easy. Yeah, Scott Cawthorn might be a lunatic. That might be that might be the takeaway. What? In, all right. I guess this isn't that much weirder than some of the stuff that happened in, fi in Frog Fractions too. Oh, we're being shot at. He he actually targets me, so I gotta watch out for that. Ah, shit! I didn't mean to get hit by that. That's really it's really a redundant thing to say, isn't it, for a Let's Player? Oh man, I got hit. That wasn't on purpose. <laughs> Thanks, Let's Player. You sure informed us the concept of failure in the game. <laughs> Die, please? There we go. So much grass for my friendly little rabbit. Oh, look at him. Is that everything you hoped it would be? I hope it is. Get him. Get him. Did I win? Have I won at the video game? Inside the video game? Game inside a game inside a game inside a game? Oh god, round two in this room. Or round three in this room. Do the enemies respawn? Or it's just every time I go back to that T-junction, new enemies- No, enemies seem to respawn. How much am I supposed to feed you? Oh god. I just press the button really fast, it dies. Admittedly, my- using my left index finger is not my most agile way of rapidly pressing a button. Actually starting to hurt a little bit. Okay, I didn't respond to a bad thing this time. What was my goal again? I die in one more hit. Here it comes. Here comes that hit. <laughs> Did I do good? Okay, now we're going back out. Am I... am I winning? <laughs> the Malways. That's cool scenery. I'm gonna need you to stop. Oh no, my health's back, okay. Thought I was in more trouble. Can I climb down this? No? Yeah. Oh god, no, don't go back in. For the love of god, don't go back in. No. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Oh wait, tab is exit. There we go. Yes. Now just to watch that transition again. I was trying to see if I could use the stairs or not. I mean the ladder, I mean. What if I just hop down? Oh, you can't. Boop. 
Yep. Nope, you can't you just can't go that way. Cool. Wee we will find my lens inside this dome. I think after a few decades of struggling with his realistic simulation, he retreated into a fantasy world of sorts. I go in? Ah, oh, hi. You look different in here. You know that? Oh, that's not you, that's a dummy. Okay. Oh, the background skin. Oh, it's all, it's all s scrolling at different speeds. Oh, man. That really sells the scale of this place, I suppose. It's a huge dome. Are you evil? No? Cool. Are you evil? No? Cool. Melanz has a workshop on the edge of town. He's always working to improve the world for us. Melanz is so good to us. He, we once, he, we were once a part of the dark world outside. He built us from the, from the broken pieces he gave new life. Melanz has unlimited resources. We will live here for eternity in the comforts of simplicity and predictability. The real world operates under unfair and cruel conditions. Melanz tried that once until he realized it was futile. The virus has only recently begun attacking items within our village. It picks strange objects to steal from us. It takes trees, rivers, fences, and flowers. Why would it attack such benign objects? It took items that will until the antivirus pro It took items at will until the antivirus programs appeared and fought off the attacks. They worked for a while, but the virus has gotten stronger. What? <laughs> what is this game? Honestly, I'm only getting more questions every time I talk to somebody new. Look at this character design. Are you happy? <laughs> oh, he has six fingers, because nothing can be normal. Six legs, six fingers, two arms, dishes, a weird screen uh, that looks like it has binary on it, but also looks like the binary might not ever change. Out goes Bitstore. Oh, I can use this stuff to get more stats. Okay. Um, attack? Oh, they go up in price. Cool. That's a start. Cool. Buy something, will ya? We'll see when that stuff even comes into play, but I have it now. Hi. Melenz gave up the work of his masters a long time ago. Now he is the master. He is the creator of his own world. Melenz watches over us. He built this world and maintains it. He taught us so much. When the world around was around you crumbles, it only makes sense to move inward. The world inside will inevitably fail you. The world outside will inevitably fail you. But here, it is the same from day to day. There is comfort in that. Where's Melenz? Oh, you're horrible. What are you? Oh, you're horrible. You're horrible. Ah. God, your whole body's like a weird glass ball with another baby inside of it, just all the time, just floating about. Why? What does a robot baby even do? Why is the robot baby boiling? What are you? Why do you have rhino feet? Hello? Robo babies sporting goods? What the fuck? All right, that's more stuff you can buy if you didn't just spend it all a second ago like I did. Um, excuse me. Hey, is that you? Can you save me from your own hell that you've designed? Man. I gotta say, you give off a very different impression in your room in reality than this place gives. This weird... What is this thing like? Is it the Dutch that made stuff like that? Or is it the Germans or what? There was like a whole thing where like people will make like these, uh... Some of them are clocks, or some of them are other things, but just like the the giant wooden things full of dolls that are like automated and they play a little song and, and they do that. It's like one of those. It's so baffling. 
Welcome to Malinville. This is where my real life is. The only home anyone can ever truly have is the home they build within. My task, like, other, like the others, was to run simulations for possible human development on this planet. We don't even know where they are. We don't even know where we are. Thousands of light years from Earth, perhaps. Each of us was designed by a different team of scientists, hoping that each of us would have different simulations and different ideas. They gave us the most advanced intelligence that technology would allow. We needed to be able to think on our own and accommodate unpredictable circumstances. That may have been our downfall. However, humans should know that the more intelligence you bestow upon a creature, the more futile life seems. I was the realist. I wanted my simulation to be exact. I wouldn't falsely create anything. I started from scratch, down to the simulated miners mining simulated ore. I spent years laboring. I wanted generations of robotic miners. I watched generations of robotic miners come and go. The ruins surrounded us outside. It took me far too long to realize the truth of it all. You are here. You exist for the sole purpose of fighting the inevitable reality that the world that created you wants to kill you. Stop fighting the fight and join us. The virus? I can only imagine it must have something to do with the never-ending efforts of the other derelicts. When they cease their efforts, I feel the virus should disappear. If you still wish to find it, however, I sense it is in the underground tunnel. The, the virus is in the tunnel? It has a location? I found the item under attack in the, in the, by the virus. It's in the underground mine, of course. I've marked it for you. Uh, I've marked it for you so you would be able to see uh, when you go down there. I'm having a little more trouble reading the- a little more trouble than I want reading the text. The screen's covered in so much weird little moving objects and the text doesn't have a very dark background so I keep like... Just, like double checking here and there. I've also given you access to the other three simulations so you can come and go as you please. Spend as much time as you need powering yourself up before a fight. Every simulation has unique ways to make yourself stronger. Save up chips which represent system resources, then spend them however you wish to give yourself a better chance. There are many friendly pieces of code who will help you allocate those resources in many different ways. I've unlocked the virus combat simulator in the main control room. I'd recommend you visit it to get familiar with your battle commands and form a strategy. Also check in with the status console in the control room from time to time to see the current power levels of Loon Infinus threat levels and the system resource status. Good luck! Okay, I think that's about the time we have today. What in the world? What in the world? So you're gonna... You're on a... You're isolated on a moon base, basically, and you're gonna inhabit a tea... a, a coffee... a coffee pot. A coffee brewer. Uh, for the purpose of fighting a bunch of computer viruses so that nihilist robots cannot be threatened and they can go on with their strange... strangeness. Uh... Huh. Of all games, this game might have a surprising amount in common with Nier Automata. With the whole, uh, whole, the whole premise of, uh... A bunch of robots, machines, AI, that are all abandoned in this... I think it's beeping at me because the time of day is changing? Yeah. Oh. Ah, the day where I'm allowed to be there is over. So I'm kicked back out. Yep, night phase. Huh. Yeah, because in, in Nier Automata, it's a whole game about how you're, uh... You're these machines, abandoned... Humanity is no longer in the picture, and you're just... On this planet, finding your own values, coming up with your own things to think about and care about. Finding your own meaning. And that's kind of what's happening here, is... You're just a bunch of weird machines that were, are designed to run simulations and you're finding your own purposes and your own win conditions and your own reasons to continue because you're just here forever and there is no goal, you've been abandoned that's what the, the the four guys are doing anyway originally five and so you must be here to fight the virus but also maybe fix the problems of the individual machines and learn their stories and this the, they talked about getting uh, 
They said that during the night phase, which we're in now, we're supposed to like get stuff to appease them. So maybe you get, maybe you find stuff in the night phase world that you can then use to solve puzzles in the day phase world. I don't know. I feel like I'd have to play it significantly longer just to even get a, f a good feel for what the game even is, like mechanically, because it's full on crazy. But yeah, this has been the Desolate Hope. If you, uh, thanks for watching, like always. Uh, thanks for the request from Calliope Rennes. Uh, if you want to check this game out, there's a link in the description. It's free. Unlike a lot of the games we do on Let's Tries, this is actually a free game that you can just play on Steam right now and maybe other places. They're probably all on PC, but I mean, like, they're, it's probably... It might be on places besides Steam. So, if you want to delve into this and find out what kind of crazy it is, uh, you could get caught up with where I am and push forward and see where the hell this goes. It's interesting. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.